I'm Dr. Ian Fairley, and I have a doctorate in radioactive waste management at Imperial College in London. Um, for the past 10 years, I worked for the British government in radioactive waste management. I'm here today to try and give you an idea of the tritium discharges from the nuclear power stations near Toronto, and that's both Pickering and Darlington, and also what the health effects are from these very large discharges. The reason that I'm concerned about the discharges at both Pickering and Darlington is that the tritium discharges are the highest in the world from any nuclear facility. And this is really serious because there's a very large populations near both of the power stations. Altogether about six million people live within 50 kilometers of the two power stations. Now these discharges are as they're the highest in the world, and the highest from any nuclear facility. And the result of this is that we see higher levels of health effects in the people who live nearby. Now, perhaps I should explain to you what tritium is. Tritium is the radioactive isotope of hydrogen. It has a half-life of 12.3 years, which means that it hangs about in the environment for a long period of time. When it gets inside your body, it sticks to your fats, to your proteins, and to your carbohydrates for years, and it gives you high doses of radiation. Unfortunately, these doses aren't really taken into account by the authorities here in Canada, but they result in high levels of leukemias and birth defects in people who live nearby both Pickering and Darlington. This is in radioactive water. In other words, you say, you, most people think that the tritium is inside the water. No, it actually is the water itself which is radioactive. For example, if I have a cup of water here and I put some salt in it, you say the salt is in the water, or sugar is in the water. But no, it's not that. It's what it is, is the water molecules themselves are radioactive. We all know that water is H2O. Well, one of the, so that's two hydrogens attached to an oxygen. One of those hydrogens is radioactive. About 10 years ago, I wrote a report for Greenpeace Canada, which on tritium and the discharges nearby, which recommended that pregnant women and children shouldn't live within 10 kilometers of the plants at Pickering and Darlington. And also that people who live within five kilometers of Pickering and Darlington shouldn't eat their own garden produce. This was on the front page of the Globe and Mail on June 2007. My recommendations haven't changed. 